some applications and games on Android, check to see if the software on your smartphone or tablet has been modified. These apps use an API built into Android called SafetyNet Attestation to see if you've done anything like unlock the bootloader, installed a custom ROM, or installed any other code like Magisk that didn't come from the OEM. We normally see financial apps claim to use this API as their way of protecting the user from having malware steal their money. And while that may be the case for some people using the app, there are still many of us who actively install these custom ROMs. To my knowledge, PayPal hasn't been the type of company to use these safety net checks. They weren't out looking for ways to block people from using their app and service, but it seems like this has changed with version 8.32.0 and continues to be in place with version 8.33.0. I first noticed this issue after installing Lineage OS 20 on my Google Pixel 7 Pro here. And when going to set up apps that I frequently use, the PayPal application wouldn't open properly. When you try to open up these versions of the PayPal app on a smartphone or tablet that is failing safety net checks, then they will immediately close. At first, it may seem like the application update is bugged out and it is simply force crashing, but it's actually checking to make sure that your device is passing a safety net check. So now that we know why the application is crashing, there are two ways that we can handle the situation. The first suggestion is to install a Magisk module that will let your smartphone or tablet pass safety net checks again. You can install the Universal Safety Net Fix module from KDragon, or you could try the modded one from DisplayX. I'll be including a link to both of these in the video description below. In my tests, the original one from KDragon is enough to get PayPal working on my Pixel 7 Pro with Lineage OS 20 installed on it. But I know many people prefer the modded one from DisplayX as well. And both should work in this situation. Once the module has been installed and it is active, you're also going to want to go into the settings area of the Magisk application and make sure that Zygisk is enabled as well. With both of that done, we can simply restart the phone so that the Magisk module can be loaded properly. When we boot back up, we can check to make sure the module is active and we can perform a safety net check to make sure that it is passing at least a basic integrity pass. With that done, now we can open up the PayPal application and use it like normal. But remember, we only started seeing this happening with version 8.32.0 and it continued into 8.33.0. So another way that we can get around this issue is by downgrading the PayPal application. So if you're unwilling or unable to use a Magisk module to pass safety net checks, or maybe the module just isn't working for you for some reason, then I can suggest that you downgrade the PayPal application to a previous version. I have found that version eight dot three one dot zero of the PayPal app does not use the safety net attestation API and it should continue to work for people who are having trouble passing safety net checks. To downgrade your version of PayPal 
you first need to uninstall this application. Then you're going to want to download version 8.31.0 of the PayPal APK from a trusted source. I generally recommend the website APK Mirror since these are not tampered with and I'll include a link in the video description for that version as well. But you can download this APK from whatever source you are most comfortable with. You're then going to want to sideload that version of the APK file like you would install any other app that has been downloaded outside of the Google Play Store. But after it has been downloaded, you're going to want to go to the app page in the Google Play Store, tap this three dot menu icon at the top right, and then make sure that the enable auto update option is unchecked. That way the version that you have installed does not get automatically updated in the background. It shouldn't matter which method you go with here. I recommend the Magisk module option since it still allows you to keep the PayPal application up to date, but it's your choice. I just hope this, this video has been able to help those of you who have noticed the PayPal app no longer working on their device. If you have any questions about this process or about Android in general, then please do not hesitate to leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to respond as quickly as I can.